Last time on Turbo Build, we were introduced to the new wing element, welded up its mounting brackets, and got to work on the new swan neck mounts. So, today let's finish off the job. So the wing has now had a, uh, a day to dry, all the Sigaflex has dried up. And so the question is now, what do we do next? Um, and so what I'm going to do is pull the screws out that I'd mounted here that are purely for um, securing it while it was drying. So I'll pull the screws out and I need to drill holes through from the top all the way through, well it's actually from the bottom all the way through to the top. Um, so these holes need to be drilled all the way out. Um, now to do that properly is a little bit tricky because I kind of need to make sure that the, the holes are um, directly parallel to one another, otherwise you could have sort of bolt holes that go skewing off all over the place. So I don't really want to do it with my um, my hand drill, so I'm thinking of trying to rig up something that'll hold the wing in place and hold it level and do it with a drill press. So at least that's a bit more square and everything. Um, and hopefully that's good enough that it'll make sure that all the holes line up on the other side once we flip the wing over. Um, so or maybe I'll set it up on the floor, get the wing level, get the drill press set up in a spot that I can sort of move the wing or the drill press around and then that's all sort of in the right spot. Um, I gotta think about it, so give me a sec. So I hope you'll excuse the dustiness of the wing. Um, I had to pretty much just go for it. Unfortunately, the drill press just wasn't gonna fit around the, the width of the wing and the height of the wing and um, the angles that I sort of needed to drill at. Uh, so I just went for it with the uh, the drill in the hand and uh, the holes turned out pretty much square, which is really cool. Now I need to um, just get them the right size, I need to go up uh, a few mil and uh, then we need to make the bracket that lives on the top here that'll attach to the wing arm that's, uh, that goes off to the car. So I've gone ahead and uh, marked out with the, uh, the tape and the pen the uh, central positions again and, and everything and measured the distances between the uh, the front of the wing and the bowl holes and uh, made sure that they're all equal. Uh, I've drilled them out to now a 6 mil hole. Um, I'll probably run a 6 or 8 mil bolts through these depending on how I think um, they'll handle it. Probably 6 will be enough. Next thing to do is to make up these brackets that I mentioned earlier. So we'll have to make something that runs across the top here and that'll, uh, that'll allow everything to sort of mount up to the back end stays. So, time to do that. To work out exactly how uh, this is going to attach to the wing, more or less like that, uh, obviously this is the two that we've been working with, I've still left them bolted together. Um, yeah, obviously there's some sort of uh, 90 degree, we're gonna have a bolt or something coming up, we need a, some sort of 90 degree angle or something to attach the, uh, the mount to the wing. Uh, the first thing I thought was a couple of little angles like that. Really easy to do, super simple, um, but perhaps not so elegant. Um, and then I thought, well, maybe I can make it one single piece, a bit longer, I can sort of give it some shape, but that leaves a big gap underneath, so not really ideal. Um, that's not gonna work. So then I thought, well, why can't I bend it? Unfortunately, I don't have fancy benders that could bend um, sort of your uh, typical angle into a curve. So I notched it with the grinder, just took two cuts out, and that was enough to give it enough of a curve that it pretty much sits flush with the wing. And that's sort of what I would consider an acceptable level. Uh, we've got two options here. We either um, run three bolts, which is probably the easy solution, or I run uh, some welds up these two uh, slots so that we get rid of the holes, and then we probably only need to run two bolts. Um, I'm thinking maybe try the welding. I don't know, I'm not the best aluminium welder, I can obviously just clean up with the grinder and hide them, but um, it's either that or we go with the three bolt option, which is certainly acceptable as well. So I'm going to do a bit of thinking, um, I can probably cut some more of these out because this is definitely the way to go, but whether or not I weld or I bolt, we'll see. So I've now, uh, hang on. So I've now uh, welded up the bracket for the, or the first of the four brackets. Um, let me show you. 
uh, the first of the four brackets here and uh, I've cut three more to match so I need to now bend these like I bent this one uh, and then weld them up as you see I uh, cheated and obviously uh, ground down the weld but that was intentional so that um, we can sort of bolt through this and it will mount to the wing and it will look neat These three have all been welded up, ground flat. Uh, I've ground some curves into the uh, the corners there, uh, but now we need to sort of add these taper off, which they're purely for style, really. Well, after that little escapade, my uh, four brackets are now curved and uh, ready to go on the wing. Uh, so the next thing to do is to, I guess, affix them to the wing, bolt them and glue them down. So obviously I need to get that position right around the box that we drilled earlier and then also uh, drill holes through uh, these guys in the right spot. So time to work all that out. Okay, so we no longer need the masking tape uh, because everything's been marked out, positioned, and holes have been uh, have been drilled. Um, and so we've got our two sets of brackets for either end. We've got our swan necks. I've split them apart now. They were obviously previously bolted together. Um, the shape is all pretty much done, and we can bolt them back together if we need to. Uh, so these will fit or sandwich in between our brackets that we've made up everything sits more or less flush and it just needs to evenly position between our four holes we need to drill holes into these and then i'll also like i did with the bottom side i'll sicker flex this bracket down as well just you know for uh, i guess extra added strength kind of thing uh, so the tricky thing now is trying to get these holes drilled into this uh, they're fairly closely spaced together um, and with the thickness of the, uh, the angle plus the six mil plate that we've got here. We don't have a whole lot of room to play with around here. We need to get our holes here pretty much on point. Um, the easiest way to do that, of course, is to do a bit of math, work out how uh, far apart everything is and the distances between them all, then mark them out on here and uh, drill them out. So that's what I'm gonna do now. Right, oh, it's time now to drill our mounting holes between here and these lovely fellas here. Uh, so what I'm going to do, given we've already got one hole in this from when we um, uh, ground, ground them down and bolted the two together, I'll try and reuse this hole for our first mounting point. Um, once that's all bolted together and these uh, three pieces are all um, mounted up as one, then we can uh, work out where we want to put the second and potentially third hole. So let's start with the first hole, the one at the front. So now with this first hole drilled, I've tapped it to an M6 thread and I've just uh, sort of th threaded in a, uh, a bolt, but only far enough that um, it goes through the, uh, the wing mount, but not through to the other side. Obviously there's no hole here. Um, so what we'll do now is we'll bolt these down with the dodgy bolts that I've sort of temporarily rigged up um, so that these are in their final spot. And then we've got a bolt here holding everything in the sort of where it needs to be. Um, we can drill our second hole through here once that second hole's been drilled out and uh, bolted up, we can take this out and mark out the hole point for this and drill through to this side. Does that all make sense? Good.
I've got the, uh, the second mount now made uh, and it's pretty much time to glue them down uh, and bolt them down. I've only got temporary bolts to sort of hold them in place. So I'll go and buy some proper ones from the bolt shop. Uh, but for today, let's uh, glue them down. I'm going to use Sikaflex again like I did on the bottom. And that will just stop the, uh, the brackets moving around if I ever do unbolt them for some weird reason. Um, yeah, so time to glue. Get some glue on there. And uh, I don't have a snozzle for that stupid gun for this uh, Sikaflex, unfortunately. So we're kind of globbing it on and then I'll just smooth it around. Much the same as what I did with the underside and of course once again I've used way too much but I'd rather have too much than uh, than too little so so be it all right now nice big mess it's gonna be a little tricky getting everything lined up with glue everywhere I can get the ones underneath Big ol' mess. And with that side done, time to do the second one. It's a, uh, it's a pretty hot day. Put the wing out in the sun. It's actually about 40 degrees C here. And uh, apparently it's so hot this little guy has decided to come in. He looks a bit toasty. Um, I've got the fan on. But, uh, oh. Hey, he's gone. And that's the upper wing mounts more or less completed. And with them quickly mocked up on the car, it's looking super neat. Just a little bit of refinement here and there to finish things off but this is essentially the hard work done. In the next episode, we'll get started on some new end plates for the wing element. Anyway, that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching and we'll see you next time.